First Alert Weather with meteorologist John Hickey. Always a great time down on Church Street enjoying some of those sweet sounds of jazz. Boy, it's, uh, can't believe the week is uh, kind of wrapping up here. But of course, the big block party tonight. Hopefully you have a chance to make it. If you can't make it down, of course, you can check it out right here on WPTZ live on the television. Or maybe you just still need that chance to get out there yourself. Looking at a couple of nice days here. Look at Saturday. All right, some storms around, but they're likely going to stay down to the south. Going to be a bunch cooler on Sunday. Also that day, looking at some chances for some rain showers. We want to talk about the winds that day too here in just a moment. Look at these temperatures. 68 right now. Burlington 62, Montpelier 72. We've really popped it up down there at Lebanon. Look back to the west though, some low 60s. Look at Saranac Lake at 63, 68 right now at Messina. Do want to kind of widen out and show you temperatures across, well, not only the northeast, but even looking back towards the Midwest. And usually that's really not important, but today it is because we've got a complex of storms that's going to ride this boundary between that real hot stuff back to the west where you see some 90s. Cooler up here in the northeast, complex of storms rides that boundary. Looks like it goes just south, but will be a close shave, especially across some of our southern sections, uh, places like Bennington and Rutland counties. There is that complex of storms. You can see it rolling across the uh, Upper Peninsula, all right, up there of the uh, Mitten State, Michigan, and that's going to ride that boundary and make an oh so close shave to our region. But a little bit of closer inspection to home. We had the clouds early this morning. We've cleared it out a little bit for the evening time. Boy, looking like a really nice night. Temperatures very comfortable and nice to have the sunshine around. Made the world a difference out there today. So here's Futurecast. We've popped you up to tomorrow early in the morning. You can see that complex of storms behind me, so maybe I should get out of the way so you can get a look at that. Watch as that generally, again, sliding to the south for most of us. A little bit of action maybe across Franklin County, maybe a little bit southern Champlain Valley, but I'm thinking any kind of stronger storms or more rumbles generally uh, the further south you go. But for the rest of us, kind of some filtered sunshine through the day. Pausing future cast here, kind of a weird time. Notice it's like 3.30 in the morning. Because I want to show you the cold front that's going through. That's going to change everything. We're going to go from the mid 70s tomorrow to highs in the 50s looking ahead to Sunday and it won't even really feel like that with a real blustery northwest wind going and well as you can also see some scattered showers around. In fact look at futurecast winds go from the south early on Saturday morning front goes through. Yeah look at that 10 20 miles per hour sustained winds gusts over 30. Uh, going to feel a lot more like an early spring day on Sunday than a near summer day. Saturday, that's your day tomorrow. 74 degrees to 59 for your Sunday. That's going to be the wetter and cooler day of the weekend. I think a lot of us get the chance to get outside and enjoy some nice weather there on Saturday. Going into next week, finally going to calm things down, getting out of this unsettled weather pattern, back to near 80. Yeah, some fine beach weather as we take you to the end of the week.